This is a Stand Up Labs production, powered by digital media. Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My video is spitting at me. Holy hot tamale, <laughs> lady with a baby. Easy does it. Caution. Hot soup. Coming at you. Mark Norman here. It's Tuesdays with Stories. You know who the guy is with me. Hey, it's Joe Wet Cunt Lips List. Woo. New nickname, <laughs> wow. folks. I'll Two very it. different type of morning radio DJs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we're here. Uh, boy, oh boy, we're hot. We got a hot one. We're a live room. We I got to a... say hot one before. It's going to be hot. I'm All confident. Right. I'm feeling it. <laughs> right. um, uh-oh. You guys better bring it. But, uh, yeah, we got two of our best buds in here. Uh, let's uh, give him a nice intro. Uh, Sean Donnelly. Hello. A repeat guest. Yes. Repeat. Been, I was on it. Uh, one of our first guests. Well, yeah, what, how long are you? I think there's a second ep. How We're long doing has the podcast been around? Three years. Yeah, September. it was like three years ago. Yeah, it was three years ago. Holy wow. shit. You were in episode number two, which I think we recorded the first day. Really? You were the first guy we called. Yeah. No, 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 that's not true. I was a fill-in, because you were like, the Stefano couldn't make it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, you yeah. were the first day of people called. I was the first I fill-in. I mean, I would feel good for my ego to be <laughs> yes. like, all right, physically, you thought of me next? That's pretty good. <laughs> and that on the yeah. mic is uh, in the middle, Dan St. Germain. Hey, everybody. Hey. Thanks for having me, guys. Like By the way, from this angle, this looks like a, like a panel for like a fishing show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I'm the producer. I don't have a fish look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have you, a fish look. You got a fish Do look. I? You, yeah, you, you, you hold the net. Look. You're the net guy. Yeah, I would never touch a fish ever in my life. Really? Yeah, and I used to get called a, a, a piece of shit and a fag by my aunt and uncle and stuff. My aunt would get in my face and be like, touch the fish, you homo. And I was like, I don't want to touch a fish. <laughs> and it was really, a, 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 it sticks with me to this day. Yeah, yeah. And I remember one time uh, my cousin, who's like nine, he's like 11 or 12 years younger than me, and he was a kid. And they were like, you gotta touch the fish. They were calling him a piece of shit. And I was like, don't touch the fish if you don't want to touch a fish. If you don't, who wants to touch a fish? Yeah. These people are maniacs. So Especially when you're a kid, it traumatizes you. It's like, flopping uh, and flipping. The scales yeah. are no joke. Yeah, they're not no joke at all. Yeah. It doesn't you're, belong outside of the water. And either. then it's also like, it's so terrifying because you're putting the, the hook goes through its face. It's crazy. And then you gotta see that and there's blood everywhere and you're like, and you're like eight. Like, why am I witnessing this right now? But yeah. then there is the other factor of if people didn't, if felt that way hundreds of years ago, we'd be dead. Yes. Yeah. You know. yeah, there has to be hunters. That's why there's hunters and gatherers. It, it is kind of, should have been a gatherer, Joe. I think you I am a gatherer. gatherer. I you gathered you guys <laughs> together. Here's a it podcast. Is, it is kind of crazy that like for Americans, like fishing is considered the most peaceful thing, and it's still inherently violent. Oh. You know, you're like, oh. Oh. murdering something yes. to murder something, but That's you're a, doing it in a quiet, right. absolutely. You're on a NPR brook. way. A, yeah, a you're on a brook. brook. You got a yeah. beer, and your cousins with you. Yeah. yeah, you're right. That's a great observation. Well, I'll tell you, I agree with you because I used to have pet snakes, and I don't think I would touch a snake right now. No. Wow. I used, to, I used to have pet snakes and feed them goldfish. What? what? You had yeah. a pet snake? I had two, I had two I did pet that snakes. Too. Crickets and goldfish. I would feed them goldfish. You put them in the put goldfish in the bowl, and it goes in. I would watch it eat the gold. Whoa. I don't know. And now Who I are wouldn't you? Even, I don't know. Both don't, of my <laughs> one snake escaped. The other one died of depression for me. I think. <laughs> wow. He just, he just wouldn't eat anything That's from so me. Funny. So wow. It's so funny you said that because one of the snakes I had had babies, and they have like fifty oh babies at once. Wow. So There's little them? tiny squirmy things. What? And I gave like one of the one of the baby snakes. I gave it to my neighbor. And he gave it back because he said it was depressed. He didn't want to wow, that's like your spirit animal. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, how do you know if a snake's depressed? They don't he move. Said he, it wouldn't eat. They're just the oh, same they don't thing eat. They just they don't don't eat. eat. Yeah. I don't think it was depressed. He th- and the other thought it was blind too. He kept his tongue in his mouth. He never. <laughs> yeah, I had a ton that's of reptiles you know. growing up. Two two iguanas and then two turtles. See, and... I wanted an iguana. I think that's why I got a snake. Because I was like, oh, it's reptiles. I was into reptiles. You guys Whoa. are fucking weird. I, right? no I was idea. like a creepy kid. I, guess. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're both creepy kids. They, yeah. uh, iguanas fucking suck, man. One of one of, I still have scars on my hand from they it. They bite you? Well, yeah, they scratch you up, and then they bite your ears if you try what? to put them on your shoulder. I Did never you? got the and appeal. And then I tried to walk one. It was a fucking disaster. Oh, you had the little leash? Yeah. Oh, you had an iguana leash? Yeah. You were that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you were like belong on St. Mark's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Okay. Yeah, I belong be with like a cardboard sign saying, "Take me back to Ohio, yeah. please." I made a mistake. You belong right. with the cat on the head guy that walks yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. I don't that like any pets. I don't, I'm not into this pet scene. We got animals. You walk around with an animal. Nah, that's silly too. Wait, the dog's dogs? asshole is exposed. He's got teeth. It's the whole situation. <laughs> I you, did on the street once. I was walking behind a, a lady and her dog with my girlfriend at the time, and I said, "Look at how red that dog's asshole is." <laughs> and then the woman turned, and I just go, "Ah, oh, you get older, things change." Like I try to say something deep <laughs> to like disguise. <laughs> <laughs> the fact I was pointing on it, I was like, "Oh, I was talking about something more profound than that dog's asshole." Yeah. One, one time on the one of those True TV talking head shows, remember the ones we? You, oh, world's dumbest. Know, world's dumbest. World's yeah. dumbest. They had a video, and it was a product. It was like world's dumbest products, and the, the the product was a piece of jewelry you put on your cat's tail to cover its asshole. Is so that right? Right? Oh, oh my genius. gosh! Isn't that great? That's it was great. like a real Liberace it's thing to literally, do. Literally, you put it around the tail, and it's like a medallion that just it's perfectly sized for the asshole. I got one of those for my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you, that you did that instead of a ring, I think, right? Yeah. <laughs> How do you clean that? Was a that? really disgusting pr- proposal video, by the way. I guess you just wash it off. I don't know. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, sponge. I you guess. ever seen a stripper do the thing where you put the quarter on, or the dollar on the floor and she drops down, picks it up with her asshole, and goes up? Yes. At Canada, they have to. They uh, all yeah. have to do that. Oh, it's yeah? all coin money. Oh, that's right. You put like a a, a, a toonie or a loonie on your forehead, and they. <laughs> Sometimes Suck from like eight up. inches away, they just have a vacuum up in there. Yeah, yeah strippers are great, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love a stripper. Did we talk about this before? I went to Montreal, and maybe we talked about this before. I can't remember, but I went to Montreal, and we would order a, a, a two lady double dong show. Because mm-hmm. back in like oh one, in the hotel? No, no, at the strip club in like a private room. But back then. You know, the uh, Canadian dollar was shit, and the American dollar was great, so you'd have right. like a ton of money. I'd go up there with like 300 bucks for the weekend, yeah. and me and my buddies, we hired these two girls to do like a double dildo show. Nice. Yeah, it was kind of fun. I, I wasn't that into it to begin with, but I was like, all right, I went along. And then they were like, what's your name? And I was like, Joe. And then she was fucking the one girl with like a strap on from behind. And then the girl that was getting fucked was like, oh, Joe, you have such a small dick. <laughs> You can't fuck good. You have a small dick. And it really. Like, why did I pay you? Yeah, it was it was horrible. Did you, was you didn't ask to be a sub either? No, I don't want to be a sub. <laughs> yeah. No that's sub. Really weird. And you were nice enough to give your name, and then she tarnishes it. Yeah, I thought she was going to be like, yeah, no one who fucks like Joe or hey, whatever. Why is she heckling yeah. you from the fucking yeah. stripper stage? I really didn't care for it. These so it was French. your own private deal where you bring them back into the, the, the room or whatever? It's private as in like it's the four of us, but then there's like another group of four guys also from Boston over there. So like we can each look at each other. Oh, yeah. It was a whole thing. That's really what I want to see with my stripper. A bunch of guys in Boston getting hard on <laughs> some cross yeah. from it. <laughs> we just talked about mood. strip clubs today where it's like you always have that one guy who's really into one friend who thinks he's actually going to like make oh, out or fuck the yeah. stripper. I felt something. Yeah. I, we had, like, my, I had a buddy who was like, Hey, we were at Wiggles in Queens. You ever go to Wiggles? Wiggles? Yeah, yeah. it's all naked. Whoa. Which is like the, it's the creepiest name for a strip club. And, uh, it's that's funny a- you say that because Comedy Club in Seattle went from being called Giggles and then it became a strip club and became Wiggles. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and I was there once with my buddies and my friend, my, I won't say his name, but he, at one point he goes, hey, I think I'm making some real headway with this girl. You think I should ask her if she needs a ride home? And the, I go, yes, you definitely should. Oh, I love Just that. Just to see what would happen. Yeah. yeah. And then he goes up and he comes back and I go, what happened? He goes, well, I asked her if she needed a ride home and she backed away from me like a cartoon. She went, boom, boom, <laughs> boom. She went, like, put like, oh, your that's hands great. up like, <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Like she was so creeped out. Damn. There's always guys that think that they're Fucking the Pat Stango. Well, the thing is, to, <laughs> well, you wanted to, you want to like, because uh, you know they're, they're going to fuck you. But like, a lot of the times you'd be like, "Hey, can you talk dirty to me?" And they don't do that either. Like, I'll pay you like an extra fifty bucks. Yeah, if you like talk dirty. And she's just, I remember one girl's like, "I'm just not that good of a storyteller." And I'm like, "All right, <laughs> oh, that's fine. hilarious." I'm not looking for Spalding Gray. Yeah, I just exactly. Yeah, <laughs> just tell me like you're into dicks and shit. Uh, fuck. And then I, I even said this. I'll just say this because we did our podcast today. I, I said. There was a, one time I went with a, for a bachelor a bachelor party for these dudes that were like off the boat Irish dudes with my cousin's friend who's like from he's from Ireland he married my female cousin. This is like a weird story. But it's a weird. Where? It's crazy. It's like, it's, like, it's like he's like a psychotic guy. It's, it's got John. He was like this off the boat Irish. Your friend has not come off well in this story. No, not at all. <laughs> so what happens is, a good is story. we go to Atlantic City. We go to a strip club in Atlantic City that's bring your own beer. So literally, you go buy beer from the bar down the block. You buy tall boys. You bring them in. There's girls giving lap dances on like kegs, like empty wow. kegs and shit and we're in there and we're in there for like 10 minutes we can't find this guy John and we go we go where did John go 
out of nowhere, he comes out of the back and he goes, all right, boys, let's go. It turns out he went and got a private dance right away. And the girl, she had her ass like in front of him and she kept backing it up more and more. And the minute it got close enough, he just licked the crack of her ass. Wow. <laughs> oh, oh, I love this and guy. He, and he went, she went straight to the bouncer. The bouncer comes over and goes, you're going to have to go. He goes, no problem. Gets up, <laughs> comes out. He goes, all right, boys, let's go. There it wow, is. that's a Whoa. friendly strip club. I mean, it's named after a child's program. Yeah. But, I mean, oh, right. to lick an asshole and they just have to go, you have to leave, that's pretty nice. Because a lot of places, they'll put your head through the fucking wall. Well, yeah. I think what yeah. it is, is, like, you have to go. I think most people are drunk and they're like, fuck you, I'm staying. And then you get into it, then he fights. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think they have to be like, you have to leave at first. It's I- just good to know that there's a club that doesn't respect the women enough to really defend them. <laughs> <laughs> One right. gets sexually assaulted and like, all right, sir, you really... Yeah. You we gotta ask you, like, listen, I get it. I want to lick her asshole, too, but yeah, you gotta right. go. I'm sorry. That's- yeah, you, you never want to be that guy where you go into the party and then like, there's the guy who grabs the girl's ass and you're like, oh, fuck, now I'm an accomplice. I uh, did that once. I uh, <laughs> I was at a the comic strip. This, no. is the, this is a strip club. <laughs> this is at the UCB. Oh, boy. Now, I was at... Uh, what's that place called? Rick's. No, not Rick's. Rick's Shit. on... The, yeah, they're Rick's. That's in Casablanca. No, no. <laughs> Shit. It's a hustler club. Hustler ah, club. Ah, hustler. That's a lot different than Rick's. Well, and New Orleans are on the same block. I see. So I was at a friend's birthday party, and we were two... We were like 16. We were too young to get in, but we got in, and this woman was dancing in front of me, hot stripper chick with panties on and I just couldn't take it I was so young and like pent up that I just ripped her panties off holy oh, shit yeah. Jesus I just Mark pulled them down like till my hands at the floor <laughs> and uh, this you know giant black bouncer guy just pushes my body down like a just folded me wow. onto the stuff just laying on the stage with my chest like a cop car and he put my head down and he goes you're out and he picked up my belt loop and my uh, collar and literally threw me out yeah. and I threw he threw me out in front of my friends who were smoking which is a fun move yeah uh, but yeah I landed that that puddle of shit outside like he that he fresh prince of bel air he did yeah. yes he jazzy <laughs> jeff yeah well, Shelby, um, could you I guess up? you learned something that I learned day. something but I saw her asshole <laughs> Shelby said <laughs> it had a jewel oh, you learned it. the wrong thing you learned the wrong, you learned yeah. the wrong thing <laughs> can we get a uh, statute of limitations on rape Oh, Jesus oh, boy. Christ. <laughs> Kurt Metzger falls through the, AV, uh, the the ducks Yeah, with a laptop. <laughs> it's got to be... You're, you're what, 41 now? I think it's up by now. I think I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, I, I just got the undies off. I never touched her body, right. her skin. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. yeah you're fine. And it was just... I, I just blacked out. I couldn't handle it. I just, ah, and I just did it. Yeah, I know. That's that's what Brock Turner said, too. <laughs> like, oh, no, no, you don't understand. She was really hot. <laughs> it's, like, it's still not sounding good. Still doesn't sound good. In my defense, it said bottomless on the sign. So... Yeah. I, uh, oh, I helped were, her out. Oh, yeah, was, you were helping. Yeah, but you can't go helping. back. Yeah. It was BYO bottomless. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can't go back in the kitchen and start, like, make. you know what I mean? Like, there's things you can't do, you right, know? Right, That's the right, thing. Right. When you're, when you're what, you were 19, you said? When you're 19. 16, 16, 16 17. 14. 16. Oh, my God. It's just a raging boner all the time. I couldn't help it. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Let's go back and loop in my cousin did this thing, just in case. Ah, uh, <laughs> fine. That girl's dead. <laughs> 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 yeah, you ever done the uh, the thing with the you get like the I did a movie. I was a PA on a movie called From Mexico with Love. Ah. It was a horrible shit B movie. I worked in San Antonio. I lived there for like six months. Horrible movie, but had some fun times. But the grips and the producers rented out a strip club. Just rented out rooms. Wow. And you yeah. just got all these private dances. And the girls, there was no stage. It was just seats, and they would just lap dance you all night. You could grab their tits and stuff. And they just paid for you. Had they to just, pay for they the just lap paid dances? for everything. No, everything was good. You tipped them, but everything was covered. It was insane. Wow. That's great. And I was a young guy. I was like twenty one. So I was like, oh my god, just grabbing these huge D's. You know. Would you ever have? Uh, you ever have the hotel one? We had them come to the hotel once, and I didn't have cash on me, so I had to go. It's like a shady part of Hollywood. It was in L.A. with friends. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah Hollywood is so story. weird, because Hollywood, on one side, I mean, I, I live in one well, Armenian. On one side, it's like really respectable, and it's like kind of looking yeah. gentrified. Not your side. <laughs> well, that, there's the one side, and then the other side, yeah, it's like it's still like flea bag motels. Yeah. And, and somebody just got killed at the CBS around the corner. Nice. And cops just killed somebody. So. Jesus wow. Christ. Pretty fucking nuts. But we went, and we did like a hotel room one. We had these two girls come i think they were hookers but mm. they were like oh we'll just give you a strip show it was like the saddest thing in the They're world always hookers but i had to get money on my way to an atm machine some guy i was like so drunk at this point and some guy when was, was it years ago no this is like this is like five years ago maybe okay. four or five years ago and there's some guy on the by the bus stop and he's staring at me the whole time and i go i go what, what the fuck and he showed me a knife and i Ooh. went okay no problem and i just went got my money went back to the 
Like, Whoa. Yeah, it was bad. And then the, I went back, and these girls were like, they just were half-assing. Ah. The whole, the, all the stripping was just being half-assed. And then after a while, we all just sat down and talked to them for 20 minutes. And oh, laughed, about what? Was, like Siskel and Ebert reviews? Movies, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, oh, yeah, my yeah. God. It was on TV. Breaking Bad was starting, yeah. I guess. And, oh, man. Yeah, it was bad. Homeland's pretty good. That's why strip clubs are so much better, because it's like, it's the vo- you're in the you're out you're in the it's like an, an event it's like yeah a, yeah the hotel is like too too sad it's, it's I've heard weird. those are great though I've heard good stories from those I think it's like at that point why don't, why don't you just if you're it could be so hooker. fucking scary to be a girl going in that situation yeah you know they don't I mean? give a shit yeah, it's like, it's fuck. Be, hotels they're like they're like fuck man like every you know every time like. One out of five times something fucking awful happens. Well, that's why know? they come with a dude. Yeah. And then the dude waits. And then, and then the dude right gets like 80% the... of the money. Right, uh, right. Yeah, probably yeah. depending it's on like who you the are. the worst fucking job in the world. It's so crazy. Being a stripper. Let's not do it. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I don't know if we get hired. We went to a strip club in Jersey semi-recently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was that was rough. <laughs> Uh-oh. We were waiting to do a show, right? What was yeah, it yeah. I just went to this show in Jersey, and it was, it, you know, it was just, it was a gross time. It was pretty. <laughs> I think I'm done with them. I never get what I want. Gross, you know, you never uh, get satisfied. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, I've paid like for a hand job and stuff. Oh yeah. But, and you know, there's always just like, because you know, beforehand you want to like have the, you know, like you're like, hey, what it, what's cool, what's the money, you know, because you don't want to fucking, <laughs> you know, cross a line or something. Yeah. And, and then like, uh, and, and but then you do that, and then you're like, this is like. I, I think I'm done with strip clubs because then you do it or like you're sitting there you're like this is either pointless and then if after you come after paying for it it's like the emptiest Ooh. fucking feeling <laughs> in the world. Yeah. yeah. It really is. I got a yeah, buddy of brutal. mine who is a heroin addict and he was like it's more empty paying for sex. Because with heroin, like, there's, like, some sort of, I guess, spiritual connection with it still. You know, right. not, uh-huh. not that that's good, but it's still addictive. But, like, yeah, paying for sex is just, like, the worst feeling in the fucking world. Man. Right, right. And there's always, like, and I'm the easiest mark, too, where, like, like, I've gotten a couple hookers in my day. And I remember, like, one time, you know, you pay for the hooker, and then afterwards they, like, tell you about, like, some sob story, and you pay uh. an extra hundred bucks just because you feel bad, you oh, know? Like, oh. They're like, fucking, she told me, like, her sister was murdered and her kid had Down syndrome. Oh. I'm like, oh, my God. Here you. She's like, you want to go again? I'm like, no, I don't want to fucking yeah. go again. I just felt like I sat through, you know, like, uh, you know, H- like a, you know HBO fucking special. Like, on, yeah. on the corner. What's that? Right. The- <laughs> it's like with a waiter, yeah. the stripper's version of upselling, you know? Like, yeah. keep talking and I'll get a more tip. It's like when I used to work at a Mexican restaurant, if you push queso, you, know, you get a bigger tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's really yeah. sad I've only I don't know I, I was just in Amsterdam and I couldn't do the red light I couldn't do it it's the really awkward hot. the Gorgeous one time women. I did it the girl um, yeah what's I this whole, give mush- me the whole rundown well I did it when I was in college when uh-huh. I was like 20 in Amsterdam in Amsterdam oh wow I've told this story before but I, you know, I'll tell it again um, I I basically I, I, I went past you know the windows and yeah and they, they knock, all dance they in front of the window yeah it's like vampires it's the yes. same way yes. Wait, yes. vampires they they knock on the glass, like, come in, yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I was like, and I was really drunk and stoned. I don't think I was on mushrooms yet. I don't know. I took a little mushrooms, but I wasn't like rolling. I mean, I tripping, tripping balls. You took yeah. mushrooms, but you weren't on mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I took a couple. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I got in there. It was this tall, like, Nordic looking woman with huge tits. Yeah. You know, she's older than me. And uh, she's like, all right, suck and fuck is like 60 euros, which is like 100 bucks. Then. That's, that's a good deal. Yeah, yeah but I couldn't, get, I couldn't get it up. So she was like blowing my sm- like small, like uh. fucking rubbery cock, you know? Yeah. And I like, I was so fucked up that I thought I was on a date. So I just started holding her hand. Oh, <laughs> sweet. And, uh, and then she like laughed and she's like, come back when you're not drunk sometime. Maybe you'll be able to get hard. And Did she blow you in the window? No. No, they put a curtain over the window, but you had to take a... Sh- the worst part is you have to take a shower right in front of them. Do you really? really? Yeah, you feel like... You, you, almost, ne- you never hear about you that You feel part. like you're in Silkwood or E.T. You know, or the Holocaust. Like they're spraying you down. Yeah, it's <laughs> gross. And, you know, like, I, you know, hard to believe it. I don't look the best with my clothes off. So, like, I'm sitting there with, like, you know, lukewarm water, like, you know, and they're making sure you scrub and shit. And then... What? Oh, why? Yeah, and then you get back they want on. you to be clean. Yeah, so for... it's like... You know, I get it. I mean, I get it, but it's I crazy. get it, it's but crazy. it's like, how are you supposed to get hard after that? Where also, you're just if, like, if you have something, treat a like shower's a dog. not going to cure it. That's a good point. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you're not going to get rid of herpes with a well, shower. Well, sure maybe they're, like, fucking a guy, and he's got, like, you know, like, food in his pubes. You know, you never know, which is a real <laughs> possibility with me. Oh, so. is that poutine? Yeah, poutine, is, poutine in the pubes. Poutine? So. 
boob team. <laughs> anyway, that, that was kind of a rough one. No, but did you? So you never fucked her? No, I never fucked her. And she still pay? You got to pay, I guess. Yeah, of course, you got to pay. Oh, yeah, damn. yeah, you, you know? pay up front. You got to pay I for mean, that shower. It's an expensive the, shower. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I I paid one time. I did enough blow to fucking kill a small horse, yeah. and uh, I paid for an escort. This is the the whole. This is the whole story. This was a couple years ago. I was. I you said was, it like you just had a realization. I mean, this whole yeah. the whole night was fucking astonishingly like bleak. I can't uh, wait. But I was I was headlining a club, uh, and uh, at this point, it was one of those things where I'd been sober six months. I'm like, let's try it out again, and it was uh, a fucking nightmare. Um, and I, I get there, and it was a Halloween weekend, so the, the things are crazy. Yeah. I get on, and my, my, my friend from childhood shows up. We're in Manhattan? No, this is in California. Oh, okay. This okay. is in Southern California. Um, How many lives have you lived? Uh, <laughs> no, this is like a couple years ago. Uh, All right. And this, uh, this, 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 uh, dude I went to high school with, um, and, uh, you know, he shows up and he's got you know, already a bag. I already asked him. So he gave me some. I took like a couple bumps before I went on stage. Jeez. And I actually had a great set, which is crazy. Oh, yeah. The, you're all wound up. Well, I thought it because well, I felt myself crash, but I was able to get through it. But then, you know, after you do it, you're like, more, please. More uh, right, right now, you know. So uh, me like, and that this was Chipotle. guy. <laughs> and the guy who was opening for me is sober, uh, is actually... Uh, fuck it, it's Tim Dillon, right? Yeah. So he's sober there, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to go with my buddies from Chow. And he goes, we're cool. He's like, you have a good night. Like, he immediately was like, I am not going where this is going. Yeah. Um, so I get in the car with this guy. We fought, we buy like a bunch more fucking blow, right? Um, and uh, we go to another party. Everyone else is as fucked up as us. We go back to his place. So I call up an escort place, and I'm like, "Hey, I'm at this. Uh, I'm at this guy's house. You want to come by?" Well, she's like, "Well, it's gonna be more money um, if he's there." I'm like, "Well, he's not gonna totally be in there. I mean, he's just he's got a girlfriend, so he's just gonna g- go." She goes, "It's gonna cost more money," and I'm like, "All right, well." He puts us, apparently on his property is a trailer. So me and this girl go into the trailer. <laughs> this girl, the fuck. And I have to spend at this point, like, originally it was maybe 600 bucks, but because he was there and because she had to drive out, I ended up spending 1200. Whoa. Uh, yeah. 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 What Humble. was the gig? It was, it was, it was, that was the money for the weekend. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, like, 1100. Uh, That's seven shows. It was maybe. like 1100, like with the tip or whatever. Oh, and my she God. can't, and this is, this is fucking, this is like where it gets really sad. Yeah, so like, I thought you were gonna say it's a she secret. Gets fucking, <laughs> like, this is she, uh, don't I'm tell fucked anyone. Up. She starts like jerking off my soft cock. It can't get hard at all. Oh, you I'm poor just thing. Sitting there, I'm so soft. cucked Wouldn't up. Wouldn't it be great know? if it was the same chick and from I, Amsterdam? And all I'm doing is like, I'm just. She's this girl's a brunette. I'm like chugging vodka, like just straight vodka to try to like I don't know get vodka boner, which isn't a thing. Uh, <laughs> so she's jerking off like I'm, I'm soft. It's a great band. And I said, don't worry, I got this covered. And I fucking went down on her. Oh, oh, I've done that before, but not with a hooker. With a hooker. <laughs> wow. And she goes, you don't have to do... Like, she was oh. like, she was like, you can if you want, but she was even like, you know I'm a hooker, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I went down on her, and she was like, okay, are you, do you want to fuck now? You, She's like, you, you can keep going. And then she's like, hello? And then I, had like, kind of passed out, like, down oh. there. So she got me up, and then, like, I... She like tries to jerk me off again. It's like there's nothing going on. She, she's like, I'm just going to go. Uh, and I'm like, all right, have a good one. She's like, maybe hit me up sometime. And I'm like, yeah, she's probably not, but yeah. sure. <laughs> and then I took out a CD and I like, signed it. And I, Oh, that's the worst I, part. I, no, I, you I left it for my friend because I was fucking in his trailer. Uh. And I wrote on the CD, sorry, I couldn't get it up. Like he was listening or something. <laughs> like I thought I was doing this performance. Wow. Uh. Then I, I take a cab back. I stop at like a grocery store, like a Ralph's or something. And I buy a, like a, bu- I, I had this idea in my head that it's not going to be weird if I buy booze this early if I'm also buying flowers. Cause then I'll look ah. like I'm like some sort of like presentable member of society. Yeah. Right. So me and all these alcoholics and I look even scarier cause I'm wearing like a suit coat, flowers, and then have like a 30 pack. And a right? plastic penis. Right. And then I, I go back into the hotel, uh, like Tim, I, I, I go into the bathroom. I start trying to force myself to puke. 
I'm coming down. I didn't realize Tim gets in like full clothes and is about to drive me to the hospital because he thinks Whoa. I'm dying. Oh, Jesus. And then I, and then Tim was like, you're going to be okay. And I'm like, yeah, I'll be okay. He goes to bed. I get back into bed. I pass out. Tim wakes up terrified because he looks over and he's seeing me holding flowers in the funeral position. <laughs> <laughs> what is the funeral position? Well, you hold them near your chest. Like, oh, like I a dead see. body. Like, like a dead body. Oh. So, I like how anyway, you got in that position to die. Me and that girl are <laughs> dating that. now. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was a fucking nightmare. It Jesus. sounds like a sweet gal, by the way, that she's like, you don't have to do this, but give me a call. I like if that you want. she was like, yeah, let's hang out after this. Like, yeah, she, of course she does. He's eating her pussy. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's eaten that pussy in 25 years. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I've been tested. I don't have anything. Hey! That's because right. you never fucked one. <laughs> you can't get it yeah. up. Yeah, but you can eat her out and get some. That's true. You sure can. We've all been there. I got a gingivitis. I got a a virus from uh, eating a girl's asshole in Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, Oh my God. Wow. Years ago. Madison clean assholes. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought geez. so too. Yeah, you know, it's a Wait, nice place. You mean but... like a, like just like a stomach virus? Yeah, you really oh, can't just yeah. eat an asshole out of nowhere. You, you got to really prep it, prep it. You got to meet been, the asshole. That might have been a form of E. coli. I think it might have been. It was wow. pretty raw. I had crazy diarrhea for like two weeks. I had oh, oh. my tongue. Are you was sure it was white? the asshole or just not the cheese curds from that weekend? I think it was her cheese curds and her asshole. Uh, yeah. uh, but she <laughs> she. She was a heavy gal, and, uh, you know, she was a corn-fed. And, yeah. uh, you know, she, it was <laughs> just, just a girl off the street. It was the saddest moment. It was my. It was a big week for me. I'd broken up with my ex of 10 years. Right. My girlfriend of 10 years. So, yeah, and you were so, just like, fuck this, let's do it. Let's go crazy. I'm up for anything. I'll fuck, a, you know, whatever, a hole in the wall. And so it was the week of that. I did Last Comic Standing, got booted. I had my album taping that weekend. That's where I was in Madison. Comedy right. Club on State. And I had my half hour two nights later in Boston. So it was just like a fucking booze-filled, pussy-filled, ass-eating fiesta and uh i was on the street shit face after a gig in, in madison and uh shit face and i was just walking down the sidewalk going to my hotel and i see this girl she's walking towards yeah. me she's shit face i mean she was big she looked like you know oh, like Lyle Alzado? <laughs> uh, no <laughs> not, like that big. Uh, not that big you know she was a full-figured gal and like i Natalie go from facts in life <laughs> yeah that's good that works <laughs> And she, and I go, ah, you want to hang out? What are you up to? And I was just drunk and being an idiot. And she's like, no, get away from me. And I go, ah. And I'm so drunk. I gesture, gesture to my hotel face on the wall at Madison, you know, with the lights around it, like headliner, Mark Norman. You know, yeah. and the picture's from like 30 years oh ago. Oh, my God. I'm fresh-faced. I'm like shaving. I got a button down on. And meanwhile, it cut to me there. I'm like drooling. I got a bib on and a diaper. Yeah. And uh, she's just like, whoa, wow. And she went with me. Wow. And that was wow. it. It worked. <laughs> and then you got literally shit-faced. Oh, yes, shit. yes. That is the most Did basic you, way so you, you could have done that. Yeah. Just by pointing uh, to a picture. You basically grown. didn't say one sentence. Not much. Not much. I said, like, me or something. That's me. Yeah, and I showed her my ID and all. It was bad because I looked so different. I had, like, a five o'clock shadow and, like, soot on my face. Oh, my God. I, like, a stick with a bag on it. It was a mess. And you got. And you I just, got. She went back. Her. You got to the point where you were eating her ass. Well, I was such a. Got a little more soot in that face. Yeah, I was a good little boy, you it know, was, for a year. So I went back and I was like, what's the dirtiest thing I can do? So I just yeah. flipped her over and I just, you know, had a knife and fork in my hand and just munched on her ass <laughs> like it was Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I got, a, I got, it just hit me. The next day I was like, oh, and my manager was like, told you not to eat that tie. He ate that tie in Wisconsin. He kept saying it was the tie. <laughs> well, it wasn't a tie, but yeah. it was a knot. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> a balloon knot. I'm a big, I mean, I'm a big fan of eating ass when you know I like girl. it too. If you I know like her, it. it's yeah. fun. And it, they get a kick out of it. How do you, you feel about your ass You too, eating? Joe? What's that? I'm not, I'm um, not a fan. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I like to eat an ass if I'm the one doing the show. Showering. Like, I'm in there on the knees scrubbing it out. Like, I want to stick a bar of soap up there and some dish soap. And he used to work in Amsterdam. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then I'll do an ass eat. But it's it's fun. I mean, they like, a, they like it. Yeah. yeah. I think some of them do. I don't yeah. want to. Well, we're comedians. We're all pleased. We want to kill, you know? We want to have ass, the best show. My assholes are <laughs> fucking rough. And I just did something really stupid on the way here, which burned it. Like, I ran out of toilet paper in my Airbnb, Uh-oh. and I was like, fuck it. And this girl who I'd, I've kind of been seeing in New York, she's a real sweet girl, uh, I, I got a cold. She brought by some to- like some tissue papers with uh, tissue paper, and I, I didn't have any paper towels. So I'm like, oh, let me grab this tissue paper like before I got here, and I start, I start like wiping my ass. And I'm like, why does this burn a little? And I look down, and it's the fucking 
tissue paper with the Vicks vapor rub oh, on it. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, yeah, they yeah. have it because it, it helps, I guess, when you blow into it. And oh. I mean, it stung a little bit. Mostly then afterwards, it felt really fresh. That so seems I don't know nice. if I can. I did that with uh, medicated the medicated gold bond powder. Oh yeah, oh, I thought yeah. that it was. I thought you were supposed to go like in your in your crotch area. Right, right. And I put weight. I just fucking. I looked like, it looked like, much, a, yeah. it looked like a Zeppeli. I just doused. Ah. It. Like, I just doused it, and then for two weeks, I it was two it was, weeks it was fire down there. I had to like I would put in like ice on my balls everything wow. it was like too mentally or whatever it's, oh my god it killed me were you freaking out two weeks like two weeks of like rough effects like the first couple of days were whatever but I felt it for like week and a half I felt shit right. down I felt the Damn. burning down there for like the that long medicated is no nothing oh to it's no joke with. man yeah. it's I'm, no joke I'm, uh floss with like a uh, minty th- I do this all the time actually I'll floss with like a mint floss and then jerk off shortly after and the mint is <laughs> yes. on my fingers it gets it like opens the pores it's you like a real it. burny minty cock I've done that with hot sauce Oh yeah, and yeah. That kind of, that kind of same kind of thing, but not as bad, probably, because the mint the mint you feel more on the skin. Yeah, mm. I've uh, many times picked my nose after eating buffalo wings, which is not in the penal area, but uh, yeah. still gives you a good still rough. A good the, the sinuses. Yeah, I've done. I I get the pho a lot or the pho, and I break the, the jalapenos and I rub my eyes, and it's always fucked. It's Ugh. fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I remember of some of you know. Remember Chris Conway? Yeah. He doesn't do comedy anymore, but he so eats so much hot sauce. He he has an immunity to it. Like if he gets it, he got it in his eye and it doesn't uh, it doesn't affect oh, weird. him. It's crazy. Interesting. Yeah, I thought that was weird. You can put it in your ass to keep a boner. Remember Porno Gill. Porno Gill. Oh, is that Mr. Curb Your Enthusiasm? Oh, Curb yes, yes. <laughs> that was the Odenkirk episode. <laughs> Yow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking stick hot sauce up your ass to keep your boner. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I guess that actually works. I have no idea. I've I just never tried. anything I see on TV, I assume is true. It's yeah. totally true. Everything on TV that you've seen is yeah. true. Yeah. Hey, hey, folks! Mac Weldon is better than whatever you're wearing right now. You know it to be true because we tell you every week. Mac Weldon believes in smart design, premium fabrics, and simple shopping. My shopping experience has been unbelievable. I go to MacWeldon.com. I pick out what I want, pick my size. They send it right to me. If you don't like it, you can send it right back. Mark, I know you love Mac Weldon. Tell them what you love about it. Big fan of the Mac. Wearing them right now, and they're hugging me real nice. It's the most comfortable underwear, socks, shirt, underwear, hoodies, and sweatpants you'll ever wear. All their products are naturally antimicrobial. It means they don't stink. They eliminate odor, like the Gestapo. Uh-oh. Yeah. They want you to be comfortable. So if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it, and they will still refund you. How great is that? Not only does Mack Weldon's underwear, socks, and shirts look good, they perform well, too. You can wear them anywhere, on a hot date, to the gym, or a lesbian bar, maybe a canoe trip. It's good for working out the whole nine. Go to MacWeldon.com and get 20% off using promo code TUESDAYS. That's promo code TUESDAYS. Yeah, Donna, you're a, you're a boozer. I am a boozer. You ever gotten any I've, rough nights? I've uh, yes, I've ha- I've gotten into multiple fights. I don't not anymore because now I'm 38, so it's like mm-hmm. that would just be really sad. I do really. I'm 38. Yeah. Wow, oh. you look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I was? 42. I thought you were like 34. Oh uh, yeah, most people do because I just have no responsibilities, so you just seem younger when you you know. I feel like all of my peers are. We were born on the same day. That's the way. Yeah, I look that's at how it. Right. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah we're friends and we're comedians. So we're all. That yeah. you think everything's the same age. Yeah, especially people you started with because you're like, oh yeah, we're all. Well, we all have the, the maturity age. of sixteen year olds. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Sam Marill just turned thirty yesterday, which is like, wow, yeah. it's weird. You're I always 30. think that guy seems like he's like forty eight. Yeah. He's an old soul. He's grizzled that voice and those eyeballs, you know. He's mm-hmm. been through He's seen some, some shit, hookers that kid. die. Yeah. Right. Uh, but yeah, I've I've gotten a handful of fights when I was like, when, especially when I first started comedy, I was boozing like a maniac. Me and too. Like so, you know, remember the, uh, you probably talked about cabin, the cabin show on the show really, before. Actually. No, not really. I'm sure we talked well, about it before. There's a bar show that went on for like ten. What, how long did it go on for? Yeah, probably ten, ten years. years. The ten bar years. show. And it was well, the less than that. It was the years. bar show. It was the kind of show where like. It was a one-stop shop to hang out with people. Yeah, so it was showed like up. Thursday night. We are everyone is here. Everybody's here Thursday. Night, you can show up. You can get you know get loaded. You can try to make out with something. Whatever the fuck happened. Yeah. Right? 
So this is like before, yeah, this is before I met my wife, I think. Or, Let's uh, go ahead and say it was, just to be safe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. I don't know where the story is oh, no, going. No, 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 it's not. It's like, oh, oh, right. It wasn't yeah. even born yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is 1976. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I always just throw out, she was yeah. Yeah, <laughs> living in Africa. I'm pretty sure it was. But it doesn't matter anyway. And what happened was, I just get a, <laughs> what do you call it? I get, I would get really loaded there. Like I got, I got, I got, we get really fucked up. And one time I went in, my buddy Sean, this guy Sean who looks exactly like me, this guy Sean McGinley. Yeah. I think you met him a couple looks of times. Exactly looks exactly like Looks just brunette. like me. People think that he's me when we go places. And so we're there, it's late, and it's after the show, and it's whatever it is. I'm so drunk, and I'm waiting online. They had these really shitty bathrooms there. Like yes. these awful bathrooms. I'm waiting yeah. online for those shitty bathrooms. There's a girl waiting in front of me. Like she's waiting for the women's bathroom, right? And there's somebody in the women's bathroom. So I <laughs> stand behind this girl, and I'm just standing Standing there loaded, like doing like the fucking heroin sway, like just you know, like the crackhead fucking sway. You know Dan. You know Dan. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, I, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going. I'm waiting. I'm waiting because I'm thinking. I'm like, oh, she's gonna go next. I don't know what my logic was. And finally, I go. Do you want to go ahead of me? You want to go in the guys' bathroom? And then she goes, no, no, I'm fine. And then it turns out I asked her. <laughs> I asked like. Five, four more times. I just oh, kept on. Boy. I just kept on being like, "You, you want to go? Just go. You want to go?" Like I didn't. Like I was just so out of it. Yeah. So she goes, "No, I'm fine." It's fine. Just go. And I go, okay. And I go into the bathroom. And I was in there. The wall's so thin that I hear her tell McGinley outside. But McGinley goes, sorry about my friend. I hear him go, sorry about my friend. He's just really drunk right now. And she goes, your friend's a fucking asshole. He's an idiot. He wouldn't stop asking me. Blah, 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 blah. And I just hear her go off. It was a nice question. It was a nice question. I, mean, I know you ask a lot, but it's still yeah, thoughtful. Exactly. That's what I thought. So I'm a drunk logic. I had like a, a beer in my hand. Uh-oh. Right? Here we I, go. My drunk logic, I go out and I go, what the fuck? What are you calling me an asshole for? I was trying to let you go use the bathroom for before me, whatever it was, and she goes, bah, bah, she starts yelling at me. I think she was loaded, too. Yeah. Starts yelling at me, and dismissively, I just go, whatever, and I took the beer hand, and I thought I had no beer in it. I just kind of waved it towards her, like, dismissive-like, right. and it turned out it was a full a full fucking beer. Glass? So I basically, it was a glass oh. beer. So I just, all this beer just went all over this girl. Oh. Yeah. Just, I just doused this That's fucking girl That's what she gets beer. for not pissing in the men's room. <laughs> yeah. Fucking high and so, mighty cunt. I'm so low. I just walk away from it, not realizing what just happened. And I'm walking out. I'm like, oh, let's go, let's go, whatever it is. And I walk out, and out of nowhere, I just get pushed on the ground, like aggressively. Uh-oh. Just boom, some guy pushes me on the ground. I get up, and it's a guy like, what the fuck? You pouring beer on my girlfriend? Like some bro y type dude. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I did that thing where you do, where like you think you know what a fight is, where you just go, ah, and you just, <laughs> 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 you just did the thing. You leaned you're on like, him. You like, just, just jumped in the middle. You know, yeah. Just go, go at him. I just whatever trying to punch him whatever yeah. it was and then we we get we went at it for a couple of minutes i think he got a, a shot in in my my face or whatever happened and then i'm on the ground with him a little bit we get pulled apart and that that lady that girl michelle was the bartender and she was like that's it you're out of here for two months wow. and then i go fuck this and i'm arguing and the guys like come on come on and we're trying to go at it again and we're yeah. doing the thing where like you wait a little bit and then you try it again and you, <laughs> but, but almost like you know people are pulling you back so you're right, like, oh, right. come on come me at you yeah, or whatever right. it is and then we get kicked out of the bar so i'm so drunk i made my friend Sean wait with me for a half hour for this kid to come out of the wow. bar. He never comes out. I'm pacing back and forth in front of the bar, and we just we just fucking leave. And then I couldn't go back into that bar for two months. Which the gravity of it was that was a, that was the spot to go on Thursday. So I was but fucked for like you, two months. You listened to her? I don't think she would have noticed. You go two I weeks think, later. I think I did. I wow. think I think I did. I listened to her for a while at least, and then I think she was like, "Oh, it's fine." I think later on at some point she was like, "Sorry, I have to do that." I'm like, "Fuck him! He pushed me down yeah. first. And then you just you know whatever it was. So that was the whole big fight story about me getting oh, my that's great i saw something kicked. else then and I, I saw something you did something what else. did you see i saw i was two blocks away from you or a block away and i could see you in the i could i saw your silhouette i knew it was you <laughs> and uh you were talking to some guy who was huge this guy was like a foot taller than you and you guys were just going at it and you had like a foot between you and you just went yeah, and took a huge swing like a hail mary, oh. and you spun around and fell. <laughs> you mean at Harefield Road? No, it was on Second Avenue. Uh, really? Yeah, I remember it very well. And I go, oh shit, what happened to Sean? Those guys went, <laughs> and they just walked away. I picture like a Babe Ruth <laughs> highlight. <hilarious. laughs> it's like yeah, the only time yeah, Sean can make an impact <laughs> if, it's, if it's accidental, he can make impact. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he right. accidentally pours the glass, but I if he's trying to actually hit someone, it never works. Stumbled into a punch. It was yeah. out of a movie. You almost got in a brawl when we were in, in Boston. You didn't realize it because you were just being like friendly Sean. <laughs> 
But we're in like Boston. You you're this, like, hey, what's up, guy? What's, those what are you friendly doing? Sean headlocks feel a lot like scary <laughs> Sean headlocks. Yeah, I, remember, I had so. to keep pulling you away and be like, you got to stop doing that. Like, Where this was is that? Crazy. This is when you, me, and Sarah were in Boston together. Oh, yeah. And then Mark, before we left, you're like, don't try to drink with him. He's a maniac. And I was like, fuck that. I'll show him how to drink. <laughs> and then uh, and then we were just fucking... We, I don't think you realized, but I was like competing with you, and we were just hammering back. Yeah, and then yeah. you ended up passing out with your clothes on. So I was like telling Sarah this before we were dating. I'm like, Mark told me I shouldn't drink with him, but look at him—he's sleeping and snoring over there. And she's like, "Get out of my face, you piece of shit!" And I was like, "I'm still standing. He's sleeping." But you kept being like, "What's up, guy?" And like elbowing people. I'm like, "You can't do that here. This is crazy." And like you literally, there was like six fucking red faced men. They look like you. Yeah. They were all staring at us, being like, "This piece of shit." And you're like, "These are my buddies over here. I'm elbowing. Uh, Get over here." And I'm like, "None of them." Well, think uh, they, they all hate you. Are they all hated me? Yeah, but I thought they it was, liked me. It was like a combination <laughs> of our personalities. Sad. You're like the jovial, like we're all having fun, and I'm like everybody hates us, and we kept like arguing. <laughs> oh man, it was they, really intense. And then that was also Sarah and I woke up. You were in one bed, and then Sarah and I were like snuggling in the morning, and then you woke up and you're like, Are "You still dating Trey?" And I was like, "We're like." <laughs> We're spooning over here. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> dating Trey. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> Did I really do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. You were like, are you, guys, are you still dating him? And I was like, I wasn't sure if you were trying to like fucking rat us out or if you were just, like, I was like, what? No. That's She's like, oh, hilarious. I feel no, better because I, I always ask that shit. So I'm glad someone else is doing that. What, the awkward question? Yeah, always saying the worst you, thing possible. There's no way I saw you spooning and I was like, you still I, dating that other guy? As Sarah, I swear to God. <laughs> and the best, one of my favorite lines, I might have told this when you were on before. That was one of my favorite lines of yours of all time, of anyone. So you passed out with all your clothes on on top of the bed yeah. and just like that's, snored that's the night away. Yeah. And then you wake up and I go, oh, you, are, you are fucked up. And you go, well, what do you mean? And I was like, well, for starters, the bed that you just slept in is made. <laughs> like at no point, like a lot of times you pass out in a made bed. Yeah. You slept for like nine hours in like a made bed, just like t- perfectly made in your clothes. But uh, it was fun. We had a great what time. What do you mean? I, I got so... I, I went to Max when I was younger. I went to Max Fish. This is another fight story where I went to Max Fish. You know Max Fish sure. down by like cake yeah. shop and all Ludlow. that. It used to be like hipster bar, and me and my friends would go there. And like when I was like twenty two, whatever it was. And one time I got into a fight with somebody because they wouldn't. They made fun of my shirt. I had like an old navy <laughs> shirt on. So hipster. And they and, I, and I, they wouldn't tell me what they said about my shirt, and I wouldn't let it go. Wow. I, I was like, this guy was with his girlfriend. It got to the point where his girlfriend got. In my face. And she's like, listen, man, why don't you just fucking leave it alone? And I'm like, listen, I don't want to fight him. Just have him, to be, have him to stop being a pussy yeah. and tell me what he said about my shirt. And this hipster's like, these fucking Long Island guys come I, out to Max Fish yeah, and yeah, start exactly. shit. And he, and he wouldn't fucking do it. So what ended up happening was... uh I'm, I'm, I must have been like wanting to fight that night because I went to the back and some dude started a fight with me on my way to the bathroom. It was one of those kind of things. I was drunk, like 2 a.m. Yeah. Everybody's drunk. I walk by the pool table and before I go, he's loaded and he goes, you. Go that way, like the other way around. So I was like, fuck this. And I just squeezed right by this uh, fucking guy. And I go to the bathroom and I come back and I, and I squeeze by him again and he's fucking staring at me with daggers. Yeah. And then we get into it a little bit in the, in the actual bar. So we, but then we were so drunk we kind of forgot about it. We went to our respective groups of friends or whatever, right? Yeah. End of the night, it's four or five in the morning where everybody's leaving. And I just happen to end up behind this fucking kid oh, walking out. Oh, boy. So I'm loaded still. I see him. I'm, I walk outside, and I go, you! And I just punch him in the face. Wow. <laughs> That's great. So much and then, and then he fucking just gets shook back a little bit and then charges me, and then I punch him again, but I punch him on top of the head, uh-huh. which is the worst possible spot that you can punch somebody. Right, yeah. immediately my fucking hand blew up, and it got to the point where we just we started like scrapping or whatever you want to call it. And then my friends got involved, and I I was like, no, no, don't, let me do it. Let me yeah, fucking yeah. do it. Oh, and then one of my friends literally grabbed the guy and he was like, listen, they're going to fucking kill you. Just, just, and he pushes him away to like, uh-huh. and he goes, go, just go, just keep going, just run. Yeah. And, that, and that was, that was uh, Max Fish. I'm starting to get the whole snake thing now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wow, I I don't. That's like years ago, though. I, I can't. Do I don't. That. Never seen that side of you. It's not. I'm not a. Me, I'm not a bad guy. It's not like I'm like. No, oh, I want to fuck guy. somebody up. It's more. I get drunk and then I. Yeah, it's like beer muscles, pretty much. That's yeah. what it is. Mm. But I haven't done that in a while. I was like, you know, I have like three, four fight stories, and that's it. I feel like yeah. you don't drink so hard anymore. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I drink way less. I don't drink during the week. I drink. On, I'll drink on the road if I get bored and I'm, I'm like lonely way. and stuff like that. You yeah, gotta do it. And like at the sh- I'm at the show and after the show, I'll have like one before and then I'll have a couple after and then I'll be like, oh, all right, I'll go to my bed and fucking be lonely for this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I get beer mouth. 
Like where I'm like, I can say anything. No, I, no one's gonna care. I can talk my fucking face off. You get that sober though. That's true. <laughs> yeah. When I'm drunk, it's even worse. <laughs> Do you what remember was... the time we were at the party? I think it was Sachi's party, and uh, it was you. Me. This is years ago. It was you, me, and uh, Canner, and maybe one other person. We were outside downstairs because it was like a rooftop party. And then this girl showed up to like ring the doorbell, and you go, "Hey, you made it, you cunt!" <laughs> and then uh, she was so uncomfortable because she's like ringing the doorbell, yeah. and you're like, "What's the matter, you cunt? Why aren't you fucking whatever?" And then it was like her boyfriend's house, and he uh-huh. like opened the door to let her in, and you could tell like she was just making a face, like gesturing, and this guy like wanted to fight you. Uh huh. But luckily. For you, me and Cantor, and there was one other guy that we were all standing there, so it looked like we were like a posse. Yeah. But that guy didn't realize none of us were going to do anything. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, there's like, some things when like, you're gonna, like, you're like, that's my fucking boy, I'm with them. Yeah, yeah, but other yeah, times yeah. when you're like, no, you're that- a cunt, and you're like, listen, if you're going to get beat up, you're going to get beat up, you're calling yeah. a cunt. But like, we looked tough. All right. But, uh, yeah. You- <laughs> well, I don't remember that at all. I can, just see, said, I can easily up, see you doing that. Yeah, but, I but can it's also it. like... You're fucking around. It yeah. was friendly. You were happy to see her. You said, hey, you made it, you cunt. I right. mean, yeah, but if the girl doesn't know, like, you yeah, can't just do fuck it. around. Yeah. It's like, not right, but it's not. It's like, no, no, we were fucking around. We go way back. I just met you, and you're a drunk guy <laughs> calling me a cunt. Yeah. Right. There's no part of that that's yeah. like, fucking around. You can't take it seriously. That was fun. That's <laughs> yeah, a good time. Oh. I've said horrible things to women, and the boyfriend always comes up to me later and's like, did you say this to her? I'm like... I've never heard that word in my life. <laughs> yeah. I always changed my and it, tune immediately. And it works. It's worked. Yeah, it works a lot. I get like some some stares. Like I, I don't it. know, but I what's he gonna they, do? Prove they me wrong. They trust you over the girlfriend. Well, I'm just like, well, I would never use language like that, good sir. <laughs> well, the guy doesn't want to fight either. Nobody wants. Yeah, to. yeah. Nobody wants. Nobody to fight. wants to fight. Right? Well, some exactly. people do. I don't know why we said that. We yeah. all agree. Yeah, but they end up in fucking prison. Yeah. Right. If you really want to fight, you end up in. You jail. know, like it, we, you meet like like I remember one guy when I worked at the Met. He came in and he was like, he's like, oh, I got to fight on the subway on the way here, and it was like his first week. I'm like, this guy's fired in like yeah. two days. I right. hate that no. shit. That they're bragging, like, on the way here, man. Like, today? Yeah. What? Yeah, it's like an errand. Yeah. yeah what are you in eighth grade? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's... And it's also... It's always like, those are the guys that are instigating those fights. Like, I've never really... Inst- I, don't, I never instigate fights. Other like, than the I, guy you just said you punched in the face right after you walked out of the bar. Yeah, but, oh, in that, right, but that guy was that guy started it in the bar. Right, true. And I st- I threw the first punch, but I was I think I thought, oh shit, he's gonna hit me. Let me hit. Him. Well, you hit Sarah <laughs> that <laughs> night. What? You were all... Shut the fuck up! <laughs> don't do that, Jesus Christ! Oh, I love my Trey. Like, <laughs> uh, it's like you get a blog yeah, written about me. Oh god! Yeah. Uh, if anyone's getting a blog after this one, it's that stripper story. Uh, yeah, but, uh, oh, yeah I think that, that that one's an edit, guys. Yes. No. No, 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 we're fine. We don't, edit. Off. we don't edit on this show. He no. knew her. It was his sister. I'm proud of that pull. Oh, I <laughs> am not. It. it was a PP. For the record, I am yes. not proud of that pull. It was, a it was pull. fun. She farted. It was great. <laughs> no. You can't just put a fart in something. Like, no, that, I know. That Al Goss documentary is really funny. At the end, they fart at the very end. Uh, yeah, fart makes everything all right. <laughs> uh, I, had, I had one time where my, a buddy of mine... He was like, hey, hold the door at a bar. He's like, hey, just hold the door for a sec. And then some girl was an asshole to him at the bar, and he poured a beer on purpose on mm-hmm. this girl and then ran out. And he, I was what? like, what the fuck? And I was left there, like, holding the door. Oh, jeez. And then I was like, all right, I guess I'm, I'm leaving. And I just walk around the corner, and, like, and I get cornered by, like, ten dudes that were with that oh, girl. Oh, yeah. And man. they surround me, and they go, they go, what the fuck? You're with that dude? And it was, like, a good friend of mine. I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, that guy poured beer on my girlfriend. You're with him? And I'm like... No, I don't know what you mean. Like, we saw you with him. Like, I met him tonight, dude. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, you got to do like, it. And they just literally, at, like, five started out, and then as I was over there, they're texting. I just see them texting on their phones, and they're going, sucks for you, man. Sucks for you. Your friend left you here. Sucks for you. You got to take this. Oh. Sucks for you. They're like and the then, Van Buren boys. The Van Buren, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then more and more of them are coming over. What? They ended up being like, yeah, it was like, ended up being like like 10 guys total. 10 like, guys? Yeah, shit, exactly. this is terrifying. And then I beat up all, no, I'm kidding. And then I fucking, <laughs> and then I was like, I didn't know what to do. And then my friend who left, he went, what I didn't know is he went and got a cab. So behind them, he was on the, he was parked behind them in a cab texting me. And I look over and he's like this, he's waving, come in the cab, come in Whoa. the cab, come in the cab. And I'm like, no, because the minute I go towards the cab, they're going to see him and just fucking pounce on the cab and yeah. not let it go. So I was like, no, I'm like, I'm like doing that thing with your phone where you ignore the call, you know, you 
Yes. Was, I'm getting the text or whatever the calls, and I'm like fucking ignoring it so they don't hear it. Yeah. And then it got to the point where they're like, fucking sucks. Yeah, I don't, your friend's an asshole for leaving you here. And then I got to the point where I'm like, I don't know how to get out of this. And I'm like, I just want to do a Hail Mary. And I just go, listen, I don't fucking know the guy. What are you going to do? Beat me, the, beat me up now? What are you going to uh, do? I didn't pour the beer on anybody. You're going to beat me up? What the fuck's your problem? Like, I just yeah. lost my mind. Yeah. And then they were like, hey, hey, no, 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 we're not going to, we're not going to beat you up. What the it, fuck? It worked. It worked. It totally worked. And I go, <laughs> and then I go, yeah, I'm not, I didn't fucking do anything. And then I'm like, all right, have a good night. And I just, <laughs> oh, wow. Just walk the other way. I was hoping oh, you would man. shove one and they would go down like bowling pins. That would have been, then you'd slide across the hood <laughs> of the cab. Roll yeah. across like a bowling ball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So you'd push uh, one down, then run on their heads. But I was <laughs> fucking terrified. I thought I was going to get like jumped. It was like on the yeah, side. Yeah, no, that's crazy. In Hell's Kitchen back when it was shitty, you know? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, no. I, I, the last time that I, I, I got beat up was when, well, the last time I got, so, it was why I got sober. It was like again, it was like a year and four months ago. Was that I tried to get Vicodin. I, I faked a back injury to try to get Vicodin, but Vicodin takes forever to fucking come now because the Fed, like, I guess the they're they're in California. It would take them four days. So I'm like, and I'm already drunk at this point. I'm at the pharmacy, and they're like, oh, they're not gonna get it. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna fucking go get Coke, whatever. I, I go to um. Jumbo's Clown Room, which is like a burlesque yeah. place. Oh, yeah, I've heard there. of that, yeah. I asked the, Isn't like, it kind of hip, too? too? It is yeah. hip, but, you know, yeah. you can still fucking get coke yeah. there, dude. Right, right. Jumbo's like, Clown Room? It's, hip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's a there's bummer. Like, there's no nudity. No, yeah, but there's, ta- there's some talented girls there. I mean, for real. Some of those girls know how to some dance. <laughs> I'm serious. Some girls know how to <laughs> dance. I expect you to say that. That's no. not a dance. Uh, and then, there's some uh, real artists there. No, nah, okay? they're, you know, it's not the place to get, you know, your rocks up, but you can appreciate it. You know, it's a good place to take a chick because it's like, oh, this is sexy, but taste. You just turned into a 50s jazz musician. Right. You're not going to get your rocks off, but there's some talent over there. <laughs> talent over there. Cool I, out, man. <laughs> I actually, one time I went on a date with one of those girls after their shift, but I was too hammered, so I just sat and stared at her. And she's like, I'm going to go. And I'm like, all right, have fun. Uh, you, know. you hear that a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, see you later. I'll pay for this. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, but anyway, I asked the guy for Coke, and, and he was like an MMA. He was like, he didn't, couldn't get it. He was nice to me because I was like complimenting his muscles because he's like an MMA guy. Mm-hmm. But he couldn't find it for me so i'm like f- I-, I google where to get coke in la and someone <laughs> someone had Hilarious. written like about koreatown i'm like all right fuck it i'll go down to koreatown just go, go to, to koreatown, koreatown in the middle of korea yeah. who's got coke no, dude i fucking get there i'm hammered i start trying to flag cars down to buy oh, coke whoa. i swear god. to god and like robert downey jr coke. oh it's terrible <laughs> i went in this is even worse i was like fuck i can't go i go to a korean barbecue place oh and you i went to a restaurant where i went to b- b- bought a bunch of it you I, found it well, no, 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 oh. no. For the green barbecue. Oh, a I ate barbecue. a bunch of food, okay. food, and I was just <laughs> disgusting. I was like filled with it. I kept drinking more. I kept asking for more drinks. I stumble out, fucking hammered. I'm starting to flag cars. At this point, I'm so drunk it catches up to me. So I lie on the floor, like on the street. <laughs> and this couple comes by. Are you, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm yeah. like, I just gotta get home. I gotta get home. And they're like, All right, come with us. And I kind of like stumble over Seven Eleven. I stumble again. They're trying to get me a cab. And this this cholo motherfucker walks up to them and is like. Hey, Hey, can I get a dollar? And they're like, No, we're helping him out. He needs it. Like they said oh, it in like a damn. very like oh. diggy and it, it, it yeah. didn't. Sm- Way to get know. political. And then like so they left and the cholo and his friends start flipping me off from the Seven Eleven because I'm at Seven Eleven at this point. So then I flip them off. Oh, and there it goes. A father and son combo walked up. Uh, and start beating the shit out of wow. me. Like, what? Father and son. And this is where it gets crazy. My favorite porn category. Yeah, they start hitting me, right? <laughs> and, um, and then, uh, and then the fucking waiter from the Korean place, one of the, I guess was driving by and he stopped and fought them off of me. Wow. Yeah, like, and then I got up and I stumbled and I was like trying to like fucking <laughs> like figure it out. Like square and, up. uh, yeah, and then and then the cops came and they ran off. They told the cops I was starting shit. Uh, they got off. The cops handcuffed me, uh, and the cops were just kind of like, "All right, well, you can press charges to them, or we can just let you home." I gotta and go home. I, I said home, and I got in the cab, and it was the first time I drank in six months, so I just started fucking crying <laughs> bawling hysterically and the cab driver was like oh man come on <laughs> and then they dropped me off and then Andy Haynes came in and dumped my booze but then the next day I hid some booze from Andy so I started drinking that when I woke up and watching Bloodline that documentary and then Jake Markovitz who's my manager or our manager yeah. 
he, I passed out and I didn't realize I had to do radio early for the next club. So he showed up like slam, knocked on the door. My, cause my phone was destroyed. I forgot yeah. to mention that. Uh, oh, um, shit. so yeah. And then, you know, I got sober and that, that was like a year and four months well, ago. So I haven't gotten in touch geez. with drinks. At least that then. father wow. and son did something together. Yeah. That's what I say. I brought the family <laughs> right, closer together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> Holy shit. Cholo family. Yeah. Rough, man. Like typical, like, not typical, but yeah. I mean, it was a stereotypical. It was like long white shirts. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like a, that's a shit. uniform. Yeah. yeah. Damn. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Yeah, I got beat up and not really beat up, but I got fucked with in Hell's Kitchen pretty bad. I was such a bad drunk. I went to Rudy's. Oh, oh that place. Yeah. Jesus. And just pounding beer, pounding beer, pounding beer, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. What do you mind? Beer, stole beer, a beer. bottle of alcohol from behind the bar from there once. Oh, I've done that. And got fucking chased out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I did that at uh, Arlene's Grocery. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, that was the best. So uh, <laughs> we also got in trouble at Rudy's together because we kept eating hot dogs. We had like twelve right. each, and they were like, "It's enough with the hot dogs." <laughs> piece of shit. That's right. We got yelled at. Yeah. There's no sign. There's yeah. no sign. Yeah, but we were like fucking Tobayashi, we whatever his name is. Tobayashi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I was dipping him in beard pictures. <laughs> but yeah, so I got shit fake. I was with Bjorn, our old manager, and oh, I yeah. lost him. Vincent. Bar oh, he was down. like a hot vampire, that guy. Yeah, he was hot. He was Swedish, I think. Yeah. yeah. Or Norway. You're on Ventland. So uh, I got kicked out of there, and I'm just, you know, walking down the street. I'm doing like the cartoon drunk, like bumping into walls and cars. And I pass out in an alcove. I was like, this will be safe. It's like a little doorway with some steps going down. I wake up. There's about five guys going through my shit, like going through my pockets and oh, everything. Fuck. And I, oh, Jesus. I, I snap to it. I go, wow, ah, what are you doing? I stand up, and one guy just. Hits me like right in the nose, and I went right back down. And then you, you I woke, got knocked out. I got knocked out. Whoa! And I just woke up, and everything was gone like keys, pens, jokes, everything. Holy wow. shit! Yeah, I took my jokes. <laughs> Hate the idea of thinking of some wow. guy and you know doing my act. I picture the five of them on stage being like, uh, <laughs> yeah. "What about women is this?" Yeah, right, right. Remember no. there was uh, there was that Sean Lynch story about he was on the subway and passed out, and the guy slid open his pocket and took oh, out all with the, the stuff. exacto, the exacto knife. Yeah. I've had a, a subway thing too. You sure well, Sean didn't do that to himself? <laughs> <laughs> that guy, he'll fuck some shit up. <laughs> But, Who's this, uh, Sean Lynch? Sean Lynch, he's a comic. Lynch, yeah. He's big, from big Massachusetts. Irish guy. Oh, I don't know. We did a gig. Was, were you there for oh, that? Oh, Jordan Carl has talked about that on our podcast. I was there yeah. for that gig. Oh, Jordan, man. Yeah, Jordan you were there Carlos. for that, weren't you? Yeah. That was, that was a weird care, fucking gig. I don't care if he hears it. That was, a, that was awful. That was yeah. an awful fucking... And then he goes... Uh, it's like just, eight hour drive. It was crazy. It was like, yeah, it was like a five... Whatever it was, it was, it was, in, it was in Salem. No, no, it was in... What was the town? It was some old town that's like doesn't run anymore. It was some town that's like really shitty now. But he, his grandfather grew up there. He's like, I'm gonna do it where my family is from. It was not. It might have been Salem. Salem's kind of shitty, right? I don't know if it was Salem. Yeah, Salem's kind of shitty. It's too, with the witches, the witch tribe. Yeah, maybe it's too not well known. Salem, uh, whatever it was, and it was just. He was like he this, one of these guys that would talk up the show before yes. we did it, and I was like three years into comedy when we did that, and it was uh-huh. like the, it was like such a big deal to me. And it was two hundred bucks or it was, something. It was like two hundred bucks, whatever it was, and we did one in Maryland like a month before that was great at a theater, and I was like, that was oh, amazing. That was great. It was a guy Scott Wallace who's like a fucking psychopath. Yeah, and uh, I saw him in L.A. Recently, did you? Yeah. Jesus Christ, he looks like John Tesh. Yeah, he does look like John yeah. Tesh. But, nice guy though. But basically, so we did this gig. It was one of those things where Sean, I think, was trying to. Up like one up, fucking Scott. So he was like, uh, "My show's gonna be." It's at the uh, the 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 Lin- oh Lynn. That's what it is. Lynn, oh Lynn. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. You know Lynn. Yeah. Lynn, the city of sin. You don't come out the way you went in. <laughs> yeah. The that first is- crack house in America was in Lynn. Whoa. Yeah, Lynn's like the worst. City. Yeah. There's a song like a, about it. Do they have like a monument for there's it. Like a, there's a poemy song about the city. Yeah. Yeah. So then it was like it went from like the Lynn something theater. Oh And then wow. two, without him telling us, he switched. He's like, "Yeah, it's gonna be. I'm doing radio. I'm doing TV. I'm doing whatever." And he goes. And then it went from there, and then he switched it to a place called the the Lynn Arts Center. And I was yes. like, oh, that's probably just another theater. It was like an after-school th- place for like old people and kids <laughs> yes. to go and like do like fucking crafts and shit. Like it was like terrible. We get there, nobody's there. Remember? And you we, remember this? we set up the chairs. We set up the chairs. We had to set up the fucking chairs. Oh wow! For but the he, show. He got a shit. We were shit ba- faced by like five somehow. Well, there was beers or whatever. Yeah. And then, and he's like, oh, there's going to be like 300 people, 50 people, and it was his family showed up. Maybe then, 50. Maybe 50, maybe even less. And then and then afterwards, he was like, don't worry, my buddy's got this bar. We're going to hang out at this bar. And he's like, we're hanging out at this bar. I was getting stared at, like you were saying when we were in Boston or whatever. Yeah. I was getting stared at. And that I actually knew. I'm like, 
I'm getting bumped into left and right in this fucking and bar. And we were with Jordan Carlos, a yeah. black guy with glass. He was yeah. like, we got to get the fuck out of here. get the fuck out of here. And then Sean's like, no, nah, no, nah, everybody's going to leave. They're clothed, but I know the guy. So, blah, blah. And then uh, it, like, it turned out, like when he, he tried to get us into a back room, and he was like, hey, I know Sully. I know yeah, fucking Sully. Right, right. And the guy's like, yeah, wow, I don't know what you're talking about, about all this. Remember all that shit? Where were we sleep? At a hotel, I think. I don't remember sleeping. Yeah, because Carlos, Jordan Carlos, me and him had a room, and then he had to leave because of my snoring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> what a nightmare weekend. Yeah, your snoring, was bad. <laughs> yeah. snoring was bad. My snoring I remember you having like a, a serious moment where you're like, you can't tell anyone about my snoring. I don't want it to cost me work. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember thinking, the work where you're sharing <laughs> you a hotel. Did I do that? You did that. And then I remember being like, the work where you share a hotel is not the work you should be aiming I for. I love it. he's like, <laughs> he's getting into fights outside comedy venues. He's like, the snoring is what's going <laughs> to really oh, push me into the right. work zone. You don't want Hanging around you when you're drinking because he remembers everything you say. I know. Uh, yeah, you I don't really remember did. saying that. Yeah, you were like, just, just don't keep it on the DL. And another thing you did that weekend with Sarah. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then and then and then you were this fucking. This is just a conversation. What a, what a about pal! It. Because you made it a fucking joke. What do you mean? You made my snoring a joke. Oh yeah. What was the bit? I can't remember. I forget. It wasn't about that. you. It was about. I know. A, it was a snorry thing. I'm just fucking. Don't then you tell did another thing that Sarah act. Sarah uh, hated because you called shotgun on the ride home, but we had drank so much that you passed out and you slept the whole ride. And then Sarah was like, "I love Sean. He's great, but what kind of guy calls shotgun and sleeps?" Yeah, that's uh, he's just got a point on that. <laughs> that's one. a dirty that move. Is why that is that bad? Yeah, why is that bad? It's, it's not. Oh, you got good... shotgun. You got to go in the back so I can have company. Right. I probably didn't know. I'm oh, trying to like, it, and It's also like direction oh. shit like that. Or... I didn't know. I remember that ride. I was up for that. Fucking no, ride. you you're, slept. You're bullshit. The only time you were awake was because we had the you stand are, by you me guys soundtrack. You could be doing the couples thing too, where you just <laughs> shit on so people. You, to... you play the music really loud. There's no way that I was sleeping. No, you slept for a lot of it, and then the stand by me soundtrack came on, and you knew every single word. It was like shaman. I'm a ding dong. <laughs> you were like nailing it. I was like, "What?" I think you make some shit up. I, I, I will say this, dude. The reason uh, hey, you guys are a successful couple, half of couple success is shitting on the same things together. We weren't so a couple you, then. But yeah, but you guys were spooning. Uh huh. That was a day yeah. one of yeah, couple. I know, but he his fucking horrible behavior brought you guys closer together. Yes. Maybe. If maybe. anything, you should be thanking him. No, you can, totally. You commiserated on this <laughs> fucking Macy's Day parade float of an Irish drunk. <laughs> I <laughs> love the drunk who wakes up to music he knows too. Oh, that's it was classic. Yeah, that's me. All of a sudden, you're like, take out the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Moon. We got to uh, wrap it up here for God's sake. <laughs> Thank you guys for having so us. Fun. That was Jeez. really fun. I can do another hour with you, fag. Yeah. <laughs> ah, shit. We're going to hell. <laughs> um, what? What? Well, we uh, the top the podcast. What's your podcast called? Uh, My dumb friends. You guys have both been on it. You were both great. Joe's on the first episode. Hey. Oh wow. Hey. Oh, on for the second time. So, so. we have Joe back on the show. Yeah, we do. I love Joe. I, I'm very dumb. It's My um, dumb friends. It's on iTunes, and then it's on the All Things Comedy podcast network yeah yeah oh, and nice. uh Check it out. comes out every week and it's a lot of fun yeah um and you could go to my website dancehatred.net i have uh dates on there i also co-host the not safe podcast with nikki laser and uh how hot well, was she at the roast by the way oh, Jeez, she looked I, amazing I, I i she looked really pretty holy hell i, I not, know it's your i've worked your i've worked too long you know what i mean like you work with somebody day and day oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no, no, i'm still no, attracted I, to I, mark what i'm still attracted to mark i'm attracted to shelby is that weird no, everyone yes. is. No, all right. <laughs> Ooh, those nice lips. All right, that's oh, gross. Boy. Sorry, he's uh, heard it all before. And I just, I have a Twitter at Shawnee Time, Instagram the same thing, and I have an album that's on iTunes. It's called Manual Labor Face. So if you want to get that, go for it. And yeah. don't worry, Shelby, you can't get it up. So you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even if I tried. Uh, and I have an album on my site too. Thanks, guys, for having us. Yeah, check out their pods. What Super are you fucking funny. Blowing up balloons? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thanks for listening. Hit us up on Instagram. Follow us, Joe List Comedy, Mark Norman on Instagram. Uh, Twitter's hit up the. The Facebook page on Tuesdays and hit the Patreon, goddammit. Patreon, yeah, and uh, I don't know. That's and see us live. Uh, check the website, Mark Norman Comedy. Yeah, and leave a review on uh, my album, our albums. Five Star sake. Lunch. All right. All right. We we'll love you all. Bye. Bye. This has been a Stand Up Labs production powered by digital media. Subscribe to new and archive episodes wherever you listen to podcasts and find all of our shows at StandUpLabs.nyc. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Aha!